Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes. In this flight, the 10th flight in the series, I am going to fly from Dublin to Manchester in an ATR 72-500 in Aer Lingus livery. And so, uh, that's what it looks like. This is a freeware plane. And, uh, well, it's, well, it's the best of this particular kind of plane that I've got, okay? I mean, uh... I, I get I mean it's got all the instruments it's 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 good I, I appreciate that at least as a virtual cockpit so here we are and uh, we are continuing with the Apollo 12 audio and where we last left it they were about to make orbit around the moon and I believe they were receiving many numbers as usual so I'm going to continue that audio and again I'm cutting out all the long pauses so that it's not boring Hopefully. And here we go. So LOI 1 is the first burn. Okay, here we go. Should be a short flight. Actually, maybe I should turn the other way. So, affirmative, Al, and if you get out two more uh, pads, I got TEI one and four for you. So that was the lunar orbit insertion burn, I believe, and various data for stars afterwards, and then uh, this trans Earth injection data now, in case they need to come back quickly. Three eight six four one. Minus zero five niner. Want to pass over Dublin Plus again? Zero six four zero eight five three two three niner one six. Plus three two zero seven one. Plus zero eight one three zero. Minus zero three. One zero niner. NA for roll. Pitch is zero niner three. Uh, I don't have my uh, plug in the rest working. Of the pad is NA. Your ollage is four jets for eleven seconds. Burn undocked. Over. Undocked from the LEM. If they need to get back in a hurry, I suppose. Obviously, they're not going to bring the limb back if they need to do a trans Earth injection in a hurry. SPS, GNN, or at all. Minus zero five nine plus zero six four zero eight five three two three nine one six plus three two zero seven one plus zero eight one three zero minus zero three one zero nine NA zero nine three. The rest is NA. I'll let you store jet for 11 seconds. Burn undocked. That's affirmative. And you ready for TEI-4? Okay, well, Go. we got a glimpse of Dublin, but now okay, this clouds. It's also this SPS TNN. NA. NA. NA down to time. The time? Zero, nine, or two. Zero, zero. Four six seven zero plus three five one nine or six plus zero nine or six seven two minus zero one seven seven four NA zero eight four remainder is NA same mileage undocked 
Assumes no LOI-2. Over. LOI-2 is the circularization burn uh, after they do the main burn to capture into orbit around the moon. Assuming there's also no Roger, LOI-3 uh, there. NA, 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 092. That's a pretty good look at Dublin right there. Very nice. As the clouds close in on us. I'm not generally a prop liner, I mean not a regional prop liner person. I like something like the Constellation, Lockheed Constellation or something like that. Or uh, we'll fly to DC-3 later on. But uh, the regional prop, uh, turbo prop liners, not too big on. Nothing against him in particular, it's just not my style, usually. But, given the livery, I could hardly resist. I do, I am trying to pick planes that are somewhat appropriate to the locale, especially with the livery. Go, Dick. Uh, we're set up in the attitude, we're looking at the uh, moon, we can see it pretty good. We're worried about the sun angle on it for television. We'll take a look at it, and while we're doing that, I'll go ahead and do the uh, landing site uh, rest map orientation, okay? That'll be fine, and uh, if you are getting uh, sunlight in the camera, about the only thing uh, that's expected uh, would help is to point as far away from the sun as you can uh, toward the points of the crescent. Hmm. See that uh, flickering? No, that's not our problem. Our problem is... is I wonder uh, about that. The sun is shining on the center hatch window. And the hatch window's got so much gunk on it that it's just uh, so shiny that I'm afraid the TV uh, wouldn't look through it. The sun is not directly in the window yet, but uh, we'll uh, we'll look at it as we close it. Of course, we're going to drop behind anyhow and eclipse the sun here in a minute. Right. I should see whether that's uh, just this plane or other planes as well. With the throttle that I've got. You know, if it's the uh, throttle input that's causing the wiggly there or whether it's uh, it's just this plane. Looks like we've got quite a ways to go before we hit the red line on this plane, so... I guess I could probably go full power actually. Doesn't seem like any reason to hold back. Not a long flight, it's 143 nautical miles, so it should be well under an hour for us. Uh, 12 Houston, uh, you might consider if that has perpendicular window is really wind. Pete, uh, looking out one of the side windows. Uh, we've got some angles here if you want to use window number one and uh, we can work some up for window number five if that's a better window. Five is absolutely the best window. It's the only one that we'll ever get to get any pictures out of. The rest are so clobbered that uh, we're not going to get much out of any of them. Okay, we'll have to run that through and check and the make sure we... Window five. Okay, we'll have to run it through and uh, make sure we can get high gain and the... Uh, window at the moon. Looks good from this angle. like this angle. I, I don't like thin wings. I like robust wings. Like, not not quite Avril Vulcan wings, but still. Got the picture. Okay, Houston, uh, you're looking at our tracking angle? So we're headed towards we Wales, well. towards Holyhead. Okay. And that northern peninsula portion of Wales. Forget the name.
This is Apollo Control at 81 hours, 10 minutes. We're now about 20 minutes away from the start of a scheduled TV transmission from the spacecraft as Apollo 12 nears the moon. Uh, the spacecraft presently some 5,900 nautical miles from the moon and traveling at a speed of 4,391 feet per second. Houston, uh, 12, shall we give you the high gain now? That's affirmative. to be trimmed a little bit more. Ah, the Isle of Anglesey. Imagine it had a different name before. Just trying to think of that name. Hello, 12 Houston. Uh, looking out window number five, Pete, uh, does not give a satisfactory high gain angle. So it looks like we've got our choice of a hatch window or window number one. Also, on previous flights, it has indicated that even though the windows look pretty grungy to the people on board, with the TV camera focus set at infinity, you kind of look through some of that stuff on the window and it's not as bad to us as it is to you. Okay, uh, let us give it a try here for a minute at this center window and see what happens. Okay, now if you'd rather use window number one, we've got some, we've got some angles for you or you can go ahead and use the hatch window. Uh, I, I think we're better off with the center window in this case, and uh, we'll uh, we'll give her a try here. Let's see what happens. Roger. So we're uh, cruising along at uh, sixteen thousand feet. TV. We're just going to experiment with it for a while in here and see what we get. Understand. At uh, about. Turn out right. We just should not send it. About 200 okay. knots here, indicated. So we'll be in Wales in no time. And then on to Liverpool and Manchester. Manchester for the final touchdown. Houston, to uh, minimize perturbations to your trajectory now, we're requesting that uh, you go out of uh, single jet attitude control back to couples. Over. Roger, it worked. Rebuilding, we can. Uh, we briefly saw the coast of Wales up ahead. I may choose to descend below the clouds just for sightseeing purposes once we get over there. suggestion is to try to uh, fake it out a little bit by putting your ALC switch to the inside position and see uh, if that makes any difference. Okay, uh, we, uh, we tried both. <laughs> oh well.
In any case, it seems a little bit early. Uh, maybe take over it first and then do the TV. Oh, I already uh, see some Houston, smoke going uh, up there. We can, we have Goldstone scheduled for 20 minutes. We can keep it as long as we need it. Okay, Houston, why don't you hang on to him uh, for a little while, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, pick anything else up. Okay, thank you. Roger, it looks like there's about 10 or 15 degrees between the lighted limb of the moon and the sun right now. And it's just making our glass glare so much that there's no possibility of showing you what we see. We have to sort of get over near the edge where we can block the sun with the window frame before we can see it ourselves. Maybe when we go behind it, uh, we can open up the aperture and you can see some from... Uh, I don't know if that's possible or not. Okay, uh, the solar corona will uh, probably look great if you can get that coming by. That's uh, supposed to be a pretty good uh, camera for picking that up. We'll give it a go. Okay. Mind you, right after lunar orbit insertion on Apollo 11, they did a lot of photography uh, too. There. They were very interested in because they first got their first good look at the moon at that point. So wondering if we've already like skipped lunar orbit insertion. Surely we haven't, right? I didn't miss that, did I? Okay, we should descend a bit. Hello, 12, Houston. Uh, we're going to keep uh, Goldstone standing by, but uh, as far as going to uh, burn attitude 8155 we'll do that we'll press on with the uh, flight plan as advertised roger roger we concur yeah i'm now getting concerned that in the in between doing some flight things i missed a part All right, we see the it's a shame edge of whales. We don't have a shade of some kind that we could shade that window with, because this is really quite a sight. Our uh, motion to the left is holy is head not here. As apparent as our motion towards the moon, and therefore we have the decided impression that we're going right into the center of that baby right now. Okay, we'll check it out for you. <laughs> ah, I trust you. I trust you. Some uh, wind turbines in Wales.
It's a little wranglesy. This is Apollo Control at 81 hours 29 minutes. I'd like to resummarize at this point uh, what we know about the uh, television transmission scheduled to begin at uh, 81 hours 30 minutes. At 81 hours, it must be in orbit. I must have missed it. The sun glare coming through the window, which is apparently the only window available to us for getting a shot of the lunar surface with the uh, high. This must be after the, the lunar time, orbit insertion. Uh, pointing toward Earth uh, is not acceptable. Or apparently, uh, would not give us a usable picture of the lunar surface from the spacecraft because of sun glare. Uh, we intend to uh, stick with the flight plan as far as maneuvering the spacecraft to the burn attitude, to the attitude for the uh, LOI insertion burn. Uh, that maneuver to attitude is scheduled to occur at 81 hours, 55 oh, okay. minutes. I guess they're still preparing for LOI. It's later than for and Apollo 11. The, uh, burn attitude, uh, the windows would not be in a position also for a television picture of the lunar surface. We do not at this time. I don't know whether the crew intends to transmit a picture from inside the spacecraft, and we'll continue to stand by. Yeah, uh, Apollo 11, I think, did the lunar insertion burn at 75 hours, so that's what's throwing me off. I didn't think I had heard it, but... And they're turning to the burn orientation well ahead of time. That saves fuel. And also saves some trouble with the engine gimbling, too. The service propulsion system doesn't really need to. Oh, we're loading right, some stuff. Well, it's really a shame we can't show you this site because we're really dropping behind it in a hurry uh, with respect to the sun. And uh, we've only got about two degrees of the crescent moon right now. Yeah, they're still approaching then. Of course, it's all in the black. But uh, we're dropping behind it fast enough that we can just sit here over a few minutes period of time and see it get smaller and smaller, the illuminated portion. Also, of course, it's filling more and more of the wind all the time because we're, uh, we're really smoking in there. Roger, 12. Ten thousand feet and descending. Trying to get below the clouds by the time we get to Liverpool. This is Apollo Control. Uh, based on that last comment from Pete Conrad, we do not expect a television transmission from the spacecraft uh, as scheduled at this time. Uh, to recap, Conrad advised that the uh, sun glare through the window uh, with the deposits uh, on the window uh, made a usable television picture impossible. Uh, there was some thought to waiting until the spacecraft passed into the shadow of the moon, at which time the uh, window would be shielded from the glare and possibly get a picture of the uh, solar corona. However, this would interfere uh, with the maneuver to the burn attitude scheduled at 80, 81 hours, 55 minutes, and we uh, do not expect a television transmission. At the present time, Apollo 12 is uh, 4,886 nautical miles from the lunar surface, traveling at a speed of 4,559 feet per second. This is Apollo Control at 81 hours, 35 minutes, continuing to stand by.
Okay, still over Wales here. Now past Anglesey though. Many things around here begin with Flan. L L A N. Houston Apollo 12. Go ahead, 12. Could you give us your estimation of the fuel quantity and the helium pressure, SBS helium pressure, after the burn's complete? Your latest guess? Will do. Stand by. You know about these edgy bits of cloud? Really, the lowest cloud layer should just be gone. It, uh, this game does not do fog very well. At least from a high vantage point. Otherwise, the clouds are fine. Sometimes a little bit spinny or shrinky, but in general, okay. Okay, Houston, we're maneuvering to the burn attitude. Raj, we copied that 12. So, uh, this coastal town up ahead is called Colwyn Bay. Should be able to get a sight of it. This, uh, it's right here, Colwyn Bay. Hello, 12 Houston. After the burn, Al, you sh uh, your fuel quantity should show 39% remaining. Your SPS helium pressure should be 1500 PSI. And 39% remaining should be plenty to get back. On its own, the CSM has like 2,800 meters per second of delta V. So, just doing the math here. 9. That's 1,092 meters per second left after the burn. Just for the SPS, the service propulsion system. This is Apollo Control at 81 hours, 53 minutes. Uh, the spacecraft now... Traveling at a speed of 4,726 feet per second and about 4,000 nautical miles from the lunar surface. We have the preliminary figures on the Still don't like lunar these, orbit insertion maneuver. This the tan first of area two offshore to here. The spacecraft in a more or less circular orbit about the moon. Uh, the ignition for LOI 1, ignition time will be 83 hours, 25 minutes, 19 seconds. The burn duration will be 5 minutes 58 seconds. And we'll subtract about 2,880 feet per second from the spacecraft velocity with that maneuver. In uh, performing that 5 minute 58 second burn, the service propulsion system engine will consume about 33,500 pounds of propellant, or about 60%. 61% uh, of the propellant uh, carried. The uh, spacecraft currently weighs 96,076 pounds. We estimate after the lunar orbit insertion maneuver, uh, the weight will be about 62,491 pounds. The uh, difference in weight, of course, being accounted for in the propellant consumed in the burn. The television transmission, scheduled at 81 hours, 30 minutes, uh, was scrubbed 
after the crew reported the center hatch window, which they had intended to use for re uh, transmitting the picture of the lunar surface, uh, was not usable due to a combination of deposits on the window and very bright uh, sun glare. Pete Conrad reported at the time that the number five window, which is the window adjacent to the lunar module pilot's couch to the right of the cockpit, was quite a bit better and would have been usable. However, it was not possible to point the number five window at the lunar surface and at the same time point the high gain antenna, which is needed to transmit the television signal back to Earth in the direction of Earth. And it was therefore necessary to scrub the television transmission. We do not expect that the glare on the window will be a significant problem for the television transmission scheduled at 84 hours. At this time, the spacecraft would be pointed at the lunar surface, and the glare from the sun should be greatly reduced. Yeah, so, of course, I admit that there would be some silty stuff along the shores the like this. 12 crew advised a short while ago that they were maneuvering to the uh, burn attitude. Uh, they'll continue making checks of all of their spacecraft systems prior to the maneuver. That will be consuming the majority of their time between now and ignition for lunar orbit insertion, which is scheduled to occur at 83 hours, 25 minutes, 19 seconds. At 81 hours, 56 minutes, this is Apollo Control. Now is it loading uh, Liverpool? The problem is it should be a gradient of some sort. It shouldn't be these uh, cutout sort of things as if uh, construction paper was cut out and laid out over the water. That is, uh, that's not how it probably ought to be. So there's something wrong going on here with the way uh, this is done. But anyway, we are approaching Liverpool there. There's the buildings in front. At least the land is looking proper, and the water is all over the place today. And uh, I believe that uh, wind farm in the water there is, that is a well, thing. Houston, you give us and accept, we'll send up your state vector and target load. It's called the Burbo Bank Offshore Wind Farm. I Got a map update for you. Fluent accept. Okay, oh. map update for Rev 1. 831146. 832435. 834357. 833636. Over. Roger, 831146, 832435, 83437, 83636. That's affirmative. That's uh, a little bit too choppy. So I don't know all the sites of Liverpool, of course. I do know that the main airport is John Lennon International, or... Well, uh, Liverpool John Lennon Airport anyway. So we'll swing by that. Otherwise there ought to be some recognizable buildings among these, hopefully, for those familiar with the Liverpool skyline such as it is. That's a pretty distinctive Roger, building right you, there. This one too. That's uh, got to be something. That uh, isn't Autogen.
Liverpool Cathedral, apparently. Makes sense. Interesting to see the little rows of houses. I seem to recall that from. I mean, there's of course the more uh, suburban kind of housing. Then occasionally we get the Hello, rows Houston, of houses uh, I've seen I in British series. Series. Like uh, this batch okay. right here. This is John Lennon Airport. Zero six zero seven zero. Delta VZ is now plus zero one four two zero. Dropping down to Delta VT. That value is now two eight eight nine or three. Delta VC is two eight. Eight two four. The remainder of the pad is unchanged. Okay, and now thirty three. The seconds register should be two two six eight. Down eighty one. Delta V Y plus zero six zero seven zero. Delta V Z plus zero one four two zero. Delta V T two eight eight nine three. Delta V C. That's affirmative 12. Okay, we are proceeding on to Manchester. Wow, wait a minute. Oh, wow, Roger, that Houston. got rid of a lot of stuff. There's a whole power plant facility over there. See what kind that is, maybe on the map, I don't know. Fiddler's Ferry Power Station. Well, it doesn't say what kind, but let's leave it on this level, even though the frame rates aren't great. Can't be missing stuff like that. Fiddler's Ferry Power Station. Looks serious. Fiddler's Ferry makes it sound, you know, This is Apollo small. Control at 82 hours, 19 minutes. Apollo 12 now, 2,914 nautical miles from the moon. The velocity up to 5,078 feet per second. We just passed up to the crew some updates to the information they'll need to perform the lunar orbit insertion number one maneuver. The ignition time has been changed slightly. Uh, the new ignition time is 83 hours, 25 minutes, 23 seconds. We've also made a slight upward increase in the uh, total delta V to be gained from the maneuver, uh, increasing the delta V by about two feet per second. Uh, the current figure is 2,889.3 feet per second. Uh, it is 880 meters per second, which is more than I would expect. Of propellant to be consumed in that uh, maneuver. Uh, the previous figure given was about 33,500 pounds of propellant. This is incorrect. Uh, the figure should have been 23,700 pounds of propellant. A service propulsion system engine consumes propellant at the rate of about 66.4 uh, 
pounds per second. The burn duration is about 358 seconds. <laughs> you do the math. The crew advised that they had completed the pre-LOI-1 systems checks. Uh, they reported that at about 82 hours, 14 minutes, which would mean that they're running about 30 minutes ahead of the flight plan and getting ready for that burn. Here in Mission Control, it has been rather quiet up to this time. The flight controllers are checking and rechecking the burn figures. Uh, the room is now starting to fill up. Uh, we're getting additional people here in the back row of, of consoles. Uh, Chris Kraft, George Lowe, and uh, Jim McDivitt are uh, now in the uh, control center. Also, at the Capcom console, we see uh, Director of Flight Crew Operations, Deke Slayton, as well as uh, astronaut uh, Dave Scott and uh, Jim Irwin. Uh, Rocco Patron, director of the Apollo program, is also uh, here in mission control as we continue to prepare for this lunar orbit insertion maneuver. At 80, 82 hours, 22 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. I see an odd building in front there. I don't know what that is. Yeah, they might be building in a little bit of an inclination change into the lunar orbit insertion burn, remembering that they want to aim for Surveyor, Surveyor 3. Maybe they need to adjust a little bit for that. I mean, not much, but... I wouldn't have expected too much more than 800, but it seems like the burn is 880 meters per second. This is Apollo Control at 82 hours, 37 minutes. One of the clocks uh, on our front display board here in Mission Control now shows that we have 34 minutes, 38 seconds until loss of signal as the spacecraft goes behind the moon and prior to the Lunar Orbit Insertion 1 maneuver. Uh, that maneuver is scheduled to be performed in 47 minutes, 56 seconds. LOI-1 Ignition time is 83 hours, 25 minutes, 23 seconds. The burn duration is currently... So is this a mistake or is this what seconds. it looks like? I can't imagine Reducing it's a mistake. Reducing the spacecraft velocity by 2,889 feet per second. What is this? The uh, spacecraft Into weight Trafford Center? combined CSM LEM weight prior to the burn will be 96,076 no. pounds. Into Trafford Center is this thing up ahead. It will be 72,225 pounds. The no. lunar orbit insertion one maneuver. Well, that's next to that building. By it has some words on it, but I couldn't catch orbit. what it was. Lunar orbit insertion number two hmm. is targeted bit fancier than I expected Manchester to be. 66 nautical mile orbit. That burn scheduled to occur at 87 hours, 48 minutes, 33 seconds, with a total delta V of 161.6 feet per second. Apollo 12 is now nearing the 2,000 nautical mile mark in altitude above the lunar surface. Uh, that altitude Stadium here? To decrease Old Trafford. Rapidly. And Manchester United football at an ground. Rate, oh. Now reading 5,511 feet, or 5,511 feet. Oh, well, there second. you go. Very famous, lucrative franchise. Flight director Glenn Lunny is periodically going around the room, uh, checking on status for the maneuver. Something really uh, a short while ago. He advised flight controllers there. that. Uh, we're moving along well uh, according to the flight plan and have completed all scheduled activities uh, listed by the flight plan at this time in preparation for the maneuver. Oh, 
Well, presumably does the city center. I don't know what the Have tall building is. Activities on the flight plan. Are rolling to burn attitude. Uh, verifying the burn attitude with a star check through the spacecraft sextant. Anyway, I wanted to get to the airport. And aligning the uh, gyro display coupler to the uh, inertial measurement unit. At 82 hours, 40 minutes, this is Mission Control Houston. Oh, well, looks like we happen to be tuned to the East Midlands ASIS. Okay, flaps, climbing gear. Caution lights. I'm being cautious. Uh, 12 Houston looks real good. Okay, if you're happy, we'll go ahead and roll to two degrees. Okay, go ahead. I feel like I should be moved forward somehow. Um, that's up. Well, I wouldn't mind up either. That's better. Okay, uh, let's take that right runway. Train, church, all good. This is Apollo Control at 82 hours, 54 minutes. We're now 18 minutes from loss of signal as the spacecraft goes behind the moon. The uh, loss of signal is scheduled to occur at 83 hours, 11 minutes, 46 seconds. Uh, if the burn is performed as scheduled, We'll reacquire the signal at 83 hours, 43 minutes, 57 seconds. Uh, without the lunar orbit insertion burn, 
we would acquire the spacecraft at 83 hours, 36 minutes, 36 seconds. Apollo 12 now, 1,297 nautical miles from the moon's surface. Velocity is up to 6,050 feet per second. A short while ago, the crew placed their spacecraft computer okay. in the proper program for performing the service propulsion system burn to put them into lunar orbit. I don't know what the heck the... All that remains at this point is to... Sound is... Oh, I think it was trying to... It actually has thrust reversers. That's interesting. Okay. That's why I was having trouble. It was in the... Uh, because I put it at basically idle, but that activated signal. thrust reversers. Oh, nice to have thrust reversers. That's good. So it couldn't tell whether it should have uh, reverse thrust or forward thrust. Our That's why I was flickering around. That the spacecraft is in the proper burn attitude. Okay, I think uh, we will leave it as a matter of suspense whether they make the lunar orbit insertion burn correctly or not. Well, I think you know. But anyway, uh, we have arrived at Manchester, excuse me, Manchester Airport. The next flight is a uh, the Haviland Chipmunk to Birmingham. So that's, uh, why is there a barrier here? I'm taking this taxiway anyway. Uh, so that should be interesting. Well, it's certainly gonna be different from other flights I've made so far. It's gonna, well, there's nothing collidable in so far except for the ground. Good. Anyway, so with this flight complete, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.